Hey guys, I'm Nina and in this video I will be drawing or painting on eggs. It's Easter soon, so I really hope that I can inspire some of you to create something uh, special and unique on your eggs this year. But before starting the video, I really want to ask all of you to pay attention to the products we buy, especially eggs, meat, fish and dairy products. Let's not support those producers who do not treat the animals well and let's make sure that the products we buy were produced by those animals who lived in good conditions. That's it and now let's start the tutorial! You can use any materials you have at home. I have a lot of pencils because this is the media I prefer, so I'm gonna use my pencils and maybe even liners. Depends on where my inspiration will lead me. The colored pencils are watercolor pencils, so it's cool to have a brush like this. There is water inside, so it's very easy to use when working with watercolors. But using an ordinary graphite pencil is not a bad idea. Everyone has one, so you definitely can make something funny and creative on your eggs. By the way, I'm using a boiled egg. And remember to add a lot of salt to avoid cracks while boiling. So I'm gonna start with drawing some Easter lilies. These flowers are also called daffodils. First, I'm marking where the flowers will be using a graphite pencil. I decided to draw three. By the way, I do have a few uh, references and it's always a good idea to have some. Uh, now I'm drawing the buds, starting from the middle part, it's also called a skirt. After that, I'm drawing a few petals around the skirt and moving to the next flower. By drawing this middle part of the daffodil, you can say which way it's turned. Also, I think it's a good idea to not to make all of them look one way. And the third flower is almost closed, just for some variation, you know. I'm very excited to tell you guys that I gathered all my tutorials in my playlist so if you want to learn how to draw everything basically you have to check it out and also visit my insta page where you can find a lot of cool 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 pictures and even giveaways because currently I'm hosting one so check it out The next step is to draw a few leaves and then we can start coloring. By the way, the tradition of decorating eggs is pretty ancient. It's about 60,000 years old. Although eggs in general were a traditional symbol of fertility and rebirth in Christianity for the celebration of Eastertide, which is an Easter season. 
Easter egg symbolized the empty tomb of Jesus from which this is resurrected. I'm taking a yellow watercolor pencil and filling in everything that's yellow. Then I'm taking my reservoir brush and blurring the pencil. You can use any other brush, but this one is actually very comfortable to use. While I'm waiting for the flowers to dry out, I'm taking a green pencil and doing the same. Then I'm coming back to the flowers uh, with a darker pencil. It can be orange or ochre and adding some shadows to the middle of the skirt and to the petals. Blurring it again and adding some green to the leaves. And in the end, I'm just taking a brown pencil and defining some lines. You can skip this step if you want to. That's it, but actually I have one more egg, so let's draw something on it too. And this time I'll be using one single graphite pencil. First I'm drawing a line to define the center of my future drawing and studying drawing an eye. I'm not blending the pencil here and doing everything pretty roughly. I'm drawing an iris, an upper crease, and eyelashes. Basically everything I talk about in my realistic tutorial. So if you want to draw the same version of face just on paper and in a better quality, you should check them out. To be honest, I didn't have any plan. I was just drawing how I wanted to, but I'm pretty sure it's very possible to draw a realistic portrait on an egg because this little drawing took me less than 10 minutes to make to make it. And if I, for example, I don't know, if spend an hour, it would look a lot more detailed. Maybe you can draw your entire family for your Easter dinner.
When the eyes and nose are done, I'm moving to the mouth. I didn't know if I had to like draw the hair, so I just I just drew one hair lock and I think it looks fine to be honest. In the end, I took a liner to draw the lashes, uh, nostrils and to define the mouth line better. I don't know uh, what else to say because it's so fast and simple, but if you have any questions, you are very welcome to ask in the comments. So this is the end of my video. To be honest, I think it was fun and I hope you guys think the same. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials and press the bell to get notifications and watch my videos first. And see you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye!